Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Computer Man. And today on this episode, I will be showing you guys how to wipe a iBook G4 back to the original factory settings with OS 10 10.5 Leopard. So to start with, if you have a Leopard CD like this, you would want to go ahead and get the CD out. just like this Mac OS X Leopard and take the box and put it away to the side over here next we will take the Leopard disk and install it in the iBook now we'll turn on the iBook and hold down the C key So now the computer should be booting off the OS X CD when you hold down the C key. Now we will see if the iBook can boot off the CD after holding the C key for a couple of minutes. Okay, here it is. Use main language, use English for the main language, continue, and it's going to prepare the install. You want to click continue, agree, and before you go and click the destination drive, go up to utilities and select disk utility. Now within disk utility you're going to select the hard drive, in this case mine is a 55.9 gigabyte Hitachi hard drive. You want to go over to erase and then leave it as Mac OS extended journal and you can name the drive whatever you want to name it. I'm just going to leave it untitled and then I'm going to click erase. Now the drive erasing, partitioning. And there you go. And you want to go up to the menu bar at the top and click quit disk utility. And here it is. And we are going to click option before we install. Okay, so it's going to install Mac OS for the first time. Alright, so I'm going to click continue. And then we're going to select customize because there is some stuff that OS X pre-installs that you might not need. Like for instance, printer drivers. This computer won't be hooked up to a printer so that I don't need additional fonts I'll keep, language transitions, takes 1.9 gigs, don't need that, x.11 will keep it, so pretty much the essential system software and additional fonts, pretty much that's it, and um, the space required now is 6.1 gigs, and you have 48 gigabytes left, in this case if you have a 55 gigabyte hard drive like I do. Now we're going to click install, and there we go. So now it's going to just be installing macOS 10.5 Leopard. We can click skip the check-in installation DVD, because if there's a problem, 
we'll find out soon enough. And now the install of this part would take the longest. So you might as well go make yourself a snack or get something to drink at this point. And just sit back and let the computer do its thing. The install should be done any minute now, and it should restart shortly. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to click a restart, or you can let the seconds run out on it, but we're just going to click restart. And, okay, there it goes. It's going to restart. Okay, there it is, restarting. Now, the reason why the install is a little bit, a lot slower on this is because it's a PowerPC G4 processor. And if you have a PowerPC G5 or even some of the early Intel machines that can run Leopard, the install time will be faster, plus it has a smaller hard drive and less RAM to begin with. So please note that's why it was very slow. Times may vary on different computers depending on the age, the parts, the RAM. All that is in into play when you're fixing these older Apple computers or reinstalling software in this case too. It has a gray screen with the rainbow wheel. And it looks like it's going to play the intro. That's what it should, should be doing right now. So here's the intro. And we are going to select United States, US keyboard, do not transfer anything, do not transfer my information from a Mac, so it's going to set up as a new Mac. And I got to put in my, it's just asking where would you use the computer, so home and other. And we can uncheck stay in touch because I don't want emails from my home. And this the final screen. Thank you. Your Mac is set up and ready so you can back up your computer 
and do all the stuff that OS X.5 uh, Leopard does anyway. So here it is on the blue screen as it loads to the home screen for the first time. Now, when we get to the home screen, there are a couple things we are going to have to do to this computer or any other computer that you recently installed an OS on. So once it gets done loading, I'll show you guys what to do. Okay. So we can eject the disk. So now the disk out of the computer. Now we can go up to the. So we can check for new software, which Apple servers for 10.5.8 Leopard, or in this case 10.5 Leopard servers are still open. So if you're watching this video in the future and you have to do a reinstall with Leopard or anything like that, they still got their servers open for the updates. Don't be worried about that. Okay, so here it is, checking for new software. We can turn down the sound. Screen is set, all right. So with that, here is the Mac OS X update combo, which goes from 10.5 to 10.5.8. Latest version of iTunes. We're gonna install both of those, okay. And we're going to click agree, agree. Okay, now it's going to take about 10 minutes to download, more or less than that. And it's only 768 megabytes in total. And now it's going to ask us to restart, so we're going to click on restart. And there we go, the computer is going to restart now. And there it goes, installing the updates. And uh, the install configuration will take a while, so I will leave you guys at this part. Uh, just note that there will be more updates after this, and um, after you get all the updates, that's about it. You're set, and if you're on a PowerPC machine like this iBook G4 or a G5 or even a G3, you don't have to install Flash because it's basically useless. Um, in another video coming up, I will be upgrading this iBook G4's RAM and battery, putting a brand new battery in it, as well as showing you guys the websites for PowerPC machines in general, what to install on them and things like that. And stay tuned for an uh, a computer unboxing and more cell phone videos and technology in general. As always guys, see you next time.